Today we're going to have a quick look at JSON. Now, JSON is a lovely file format. Some of you might have heard of it before. For those of you who haven't, JavaScript object notation. Now, what this means is it's a less structured structure that basically unlike XML where you require the full definition of the structure, it relies on only the information being needed. Now, an example of this we have on screen where we have the employees table, the managers table, and you can see that we have all of the fields filled in for first name, last name, but we also have one row for Anna who has a middle name. Now I'm going to show you how this plays out. So first of all, we're going to put the information into an object, in this case, our variable employees JSON, and we're just going to prove that employees JSON now has the data. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what is in that employees JSON because I want to show you what can be done in terms of the, the variable itself. So one of the things I want to do is I'm going to do a get member. Now that we have that and we have the many, many, many types of methods that are available to us and we can see how we can manipulate the data, clone it, change it, copy to, uh, check the values, um, even trim the length or do just a count of the, the number of uh, characters within it, we're going to do something a little bit more fun. We're going to convert from JSON into a regular variable. So basically trimming out everything else that's in this into just the usable part so that we can start playing around with the actual data. Now I could have done this at the beginning by having a JSON file and then using the uh, convert from JSON into something else, but hey, where's the fun in that, right? So I'm going to show you how I created this. You could have gone ahead and used the same principle in reverse and export to a JSON file, but in this case we're just going to go ahead and create an employee's object. So now we've done that, and I'm going to do the employee's object the same as we saw before but with one subtle difference when I do the get members on this you're gonna see a few less types so as you can see we have a total of six types regular uh, methods and then two note properties now these note properties can be used in order to get the information from our table so as an example let's do the employees one and we should get our three employees returned now what you might have noticed is the middle name is missing from Anna. So why don't we see that? Well, the simple answer to this is because middle name doesn't appear in the other two. So we're only showing common values. So if I want to see, let's say as a, an example, I want to see Anna's middle name, and since it doesn't appear anywhere else, I can filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and filter, say where object, and in this case, the object is gonna be middle name and where that's not null, so where it's not empty. So if I had more rows, let's say I had three or four and some had middle names and some didn't, I would still see the same output, but here I can go get the examples where they do have a middle name. And as you can see from the next entry, we now have the middle name. That's how you can retrieve and play with data that is partly there, which is something you get in JSON formats. Now, what did I mean by partly there? So, I'll give you an example. In XML or a SQL database of some variety, where the data was not there, so as an example, middle name would be a defined column, the column where you didn't have middle names, those would just end up as null values. But in JSON, we don't need null values, so we just simply skip over those, and only the actual data is there. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and stay tuned for more content.